Welcome back guys to Factorio Town Season 2. This is episode 164 with me, Massive Dynamic. And we are back at Forza, reloading on a few things. Uh, looks like all of our spiders are reloading on things. Uh, looks like a lot of gravel coming in for our gravel spider. Let's see how it's doing there. It's nearly full, so we'll just give it a second. So we are still working on our project of our new town and it looks like we left all of our bots behind and they're traveling this way but we'll catch up with them on our way back uh but our new town is over here and i think we did give it a name and it is yeah deep 173 and that is where we are making uh something uh oh yeah it's uh, <laughs> electric engines red engines is what we're making there so we need to, yes, yeah, speaking of which, we need to grab some walls because uh, let's see how many walls we have on us here. Uh, a few hundred, it looks like. What do we have? 400 walls. Let me just grab some walls for my personal spider so that we can make sure that we get... The, okay, we already have it. There it is. Oh, only 100 on us. All right, let's make that 400 there too. That way we'll definitely have enough to get the walls built on our town. And I don't think we need mining machines. Let's see if they come right back in our inventory. I don't remember if we have those set up. Okay, what else do we need? Probably a lot of inserters is the main thing that we'll need uh, once we get going there. So let's grab a few more inserters while we're here so that we don't run out. Uh, we'll go ahead and clean out this chest right here and maybe let's see let's see if we have some uh, stack inserters here somewhere where are they there they are we have a few yeah we'll take those also oh uh, that's the one thing that we seem to always run out of when we build a new town so there that's that that's good so we should be able to get back to work over here at deep 173 and hopefully we'll grab our let's grab our robots as we pass through there maybe see where we intersect them close not too bad i think that'll be okay because uh we'll pass a few and then a few will be behind so those will reverse Let's let them catch up. Which ones are those guys? Are they mine? No, they belong to one of our... My spider. One of our spiders, anyway. We'll get them all collected. Can't tell who they belong to. By the color. Must be... I can't tell. Doesn't matter that much. Anyways, let's get back over here now, and we can get get working on our town. And let's see, what else can we do in the meantime while we're traveling? I guess we can do some more bombardments. Let's get our repair spiders to do a little bit of repairs before we start bombarding things. And then we can do some sending here, messages. So we'll do that. Make sure that we clean up all this um, new, new town expansion area, I guess. Imminent, dona do imminent domain is what we're claiming here. That means that the land belongs to us. And so we have a right to do whatever we want with it. And the squatters can either cooperate or move on. So you could say we're sending them an eviction notice. But uh, we're inviting them actually to join us what we're trying to do they have the option honestly very few of them actually want to cooperate though 
If you've been th here through the entire series, then you know that the biters are less than cooperative with our efforts for the most part. But they do eventually relent when properly motivated. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. Did I do this one? I don't guess I did this one. Oh, I'm out. Okay, we're out of shells, so that means we must be close. Okay, we made it. Very good. Alright, let's bring in the power poles. So that we can set up a radar and such things like that. So this should work if we just drag this thing across here. Should be able to get that going like that. And start one down this way. Okay, and then where's our production? There it is. So let's take that. Over here, that should give us enough room to get our everything in that we need there. All right, now how are we doing? We have no, you kidding me. I'm a little bit embarrassed. We have no beacons on us. That's crazy. I guess, uh, I guess we're out of beacons back at the base. We'll have to check on that. What else can we do? There's not much we can do without beacons, I guess. So we'll set up the train stations then. And I believe we have a unloading in one of my blueprint books. I think we have a train unloader. Um, let's see here. Do I have it on my person? It doesn't look like it. No. So let's check our book. Uh, let's see. Unloader, there we go, that's what we want. So we'll need one for... There. I think we said we need... Two of those, and then we'll need a liquid unloader. And then we will need a solid loader. Solid loader, that sounds kind of funny. A solid unloader and a solid loader. That's a uh, train loader, that's what we need. We need a solids loader. Right there. Okay, and then we need to hook up power. I don't know why that struck me so funny. Must be my inner 10 year old coming out. But anyways, uh, let's see, we need to unload liquids here. And for now, let's see, do I have pumps on me? I, I don't, I know one of you guys has pumps. I think you have pumps on you, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe not. Okay, not you. One of you guys has pumps on you. You? No. Interesting. Ah. Okay, I guess I I guess I just make some pumps. I just need four of them. And I should be able to to make them. Uh, but anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember. Something about... Um, oh yeah, something about liquids unloading. Yeah, we'll, we'll set up four unloading tanks. I don't think we need four, but that way we'll have it, I guess. Uh, we really shouldn't need four tanks worth of... Um, Uh, what is it? The green liquid that comes from oil. 
That is called lubricant. Yeah, that's it. I don't think we'll need a hundred thousand lubricant, but we'll set it up anyway. And that way, we'll just have it. Okay, and then that goes uh, something like that should be fine. Okay, and then we just need to get that piped in. I guess we can go ahead and pipe that in because that would be the easy one. We just need to run a line. Uh, you know what? We'll just take it down around the underside of the build. Somewhere in here. I think it'll be easier here. We can feed that one and this one. Easily like this. Does that reach? Excellent. There. The spider, um, the spider jiggle. It always jiggles just when I go to set something down. It makes me miss my spot there like that. Okay, there. That's all the liquid input. And then we need the... Uh, let's clear a few trees here. Uh, so we need two and we need also belts. Um, so we're, we're doing two lanes, one, two, no, four lanes, and the inputs are, this one goes, this is output, so we don't really need these. Okay, so we do need four inputs, and these are all shared lanes. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take each one of these. There's a good way to do this, I think. If we take this, and we bring it over here like this. Uh, let's see. And that reaches to there. And we can do this, this, and this. And there's an output like that. And we can do that for each one of these, I think. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. So let's copy that. That whole thing. And we should be able to do that. And then we can copy this thing. And we should be able to do that. There, and we have all of our inputs and they are all set up. Then the only other thing would be to uh, blend them together, but I don't really see a need to do that. If we, if we do in the future, we can always do that later. But for now, I think we're okay not blending them together. Partially because if we do blend them together, the way we've set it up, it would be a little bit messy. So, with the with a uh, with a mixed belt, and if we used a regular balancer, we'd end up with all kinds of stuff on both sides of the belts which would be messy and we don't want to do that okay so the next thing to do let's go ahead and what happened to the walls that I ordered for myself here here they are let's take those all right let's go ahead and build our let's build our town walls and we can definitely use the existing cliffs here and this town we might Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We might use some lasers here. 
since we are not in a protected zone, there are some biters out there in the wilds to our east. No, that's our west. And I accidentally get rid of a cliff there that I didn't mean to. Clean this up. Something like this. And across here. Well, there's a cliff there that we can take advantage of. There, like that. Okay, that should take care of the wall situation for the most part, anyway. All right, now. Uh, the next thing we need to do is get our goods in. So we need um, green circuits, I believe, and engines. Which are made in one of our newer towns. And then we need lubricant. And lubricant, we don't have set up. We definitely don't have it set up for four wagons full. So we'll have to work on that in a future episode also. Okay, that's good. All right, and then we'll bring in our... Let's see, we need the... We definitely need the belt train from uh, Clark, which is there. So let's get you over here to deep. Uh, let's see, deep is... Oh, we didn't name the station yet. Oh yes, we did. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see, Clark, you are here there and there send you on your way and there okay and i think guys we're going to end it right there for this episode i'm going to go back to forza we definitely need to pick up some um beacons so we'll have to check into our beacon production we might have to hang out here a minute and in between episodes and build some beacons but uh we'll pick it up at the next episode i forgot to put a radar down let me place a radar before we get too far away so that we can oversee our work from the air from the sky and then we'll end the episode probably while i'm placing the uh radar but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do appreciate it and once again if you're still here at the end of the episode then know that you are one of only one or two people that are crazy enough to stay that long and i do appreciate it very much and i hope that you will continue to keep up with the episodes and give me your feedback uh it really does help the uh the youtube algorithm to uh let others know that we're out here doing our work so any help you can give me in that regard i do appreciate it give me a tip give me a give me a, a complaint anything anything any comment is a good comment so thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye bye